What's up you freaking geniuses? All right, so in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to divide exponents with the same base. And the equation we're gonna use for this is a raised to the x over a raised to the y is equal to a to the x minus y. Okay, so this is just telling us if we have two numbers that are the same, so the same base, all right, we're gonna keep the same base and then we're just gonna subtract their exponents, okay? So x minus y, x minus y. All right, so I'm gonna do some positive and negative examples and then I think it's gonna start making a lot more sense. So if I had two to the fifth divided by two to the third, as you can see, we have the same base, right? Which is two in this case. So this is gonna equal two, right? We're just gonna keep it. And then we're gonna subtract the exponents. So five minus three, all right? Five minus three. So this is just equal to two squared, which is just two times two, which is equal to four, positive four, all right? So not too bad, right? All right, so let's do another one. What if we had two to the third divided by two to the seventh? Okay, so as you can see, we have the same base, right? So we're gonna keep it. And then all we do is subtract the exponents. So we start with the top one, right? Three minus seven. Okay, so this is equal to two. And then what's three minus seven? Well, that's negative four, right? Now, what do you do when you have a negative exponent? Well, you just take this number right here, you put it over one. So it's basically a fraction now, right? So we're gonna flip this fraction and then we're gonna make the exponent positive, right? So now this one is gonna be on top. Okay, this two to the negative four is gonna be on the bottom, but remember, we make the exponent positive. Okay, now we can solve this, right? So this is just one over two to the fourth, which is equal to 16. So your answer is 1 16th. All right, so I think you get the gist of it, so let's do some negative examples. All right, so these are negative bases. So if I had negative six to the fifth, divided by negative six to the third, we have the same base, right? Negative six and negative six, so we keep it. And then we just subtract the exponents, the top from the bottom, right? So the top goes first, so five minus three. All right, and this is gonna equal negative six, right? Five minus three is positive two. So this is negative six squared, okay? So this is the same thing as negative six times negative six, which is equal to a negative times a negative is a positive, right? And six times six is 36. So this is positive 36. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip these two and we're gonna do this example one more time. So what if I had negative six to the third on top and negative six to the fifth on the bottom? Okay, well, it's the same steps, right? We have a negative six here, we have a negative six here. So we're gonna keep it. And then we're gonna subtract the exponents, right? The top one goes first, so three, and we're subtracting, so minus five, right? Positive five. So we're left with negative six, and then three minus five is negative two, right? So we have a negative exponent on the top. What do we do? We just put this thing over one, and then we flip the whole thing, right? And turn this positive. So again, it'd look like one over negative six, to the positive two. So again, an important thing to point out is what is our base? Our base is negative six. So we keep negative six as our base, right? The only thing that we change the sign on is the exponent. So this went from negative two to positive two, right? But our base always stays the same. Okay, so now we can solve this one, right? So now we have one over negative six squared, which is negative six times negative six, which is equal to one over positive 36. And there is your answer, folks. All right, so let's do a couple more. So let's throw a bunch of negatives in this one. So what if we had negative two to the negative two over negative two to the negative five? So again, we have the same base, right? Negative two and negative two, so we keep it. And then we just subtract our exponents, so we have negative two minus negative five. Okay, so this is gonna equal negative two, right? 
and then let's do the exponent. Negative 2 minus 5, well, that's the same thing as negative 2 plus 5, right? Because subtracting a negative, subtracting a negative is the same thing as adding. So negative 2 plus 5 is equal to positive 3. Okay, and a little rule I pointed out in the last video, right? So this is for if you have a negative base, right? So in this case, negative 2, right? That's a negative base. So if you have an even numbered exponent, your answer is going to always be positive, right? If you have an odd numbered exponent, your answer is always going to be negative. So in this case, we have a negative base, right? So that checks that out. Now, do we have an even or an odd exponent? We have an odd exponent, right? So that means this answer is going to be negative. So that's always the quick way of determining if your answer is going to be positive or negative. But if you want to just do it the long way, right, we can also do that too. So this would just be negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. So negative 2 times negative 2, that's positive 4, right? These two right there. And then positive 4 times this last negative 2, well, that's positive times a negative. So that's negative. And then 4 times 2 is just 8, right? So this is negative 8. So let's just do a couple more examples. All right, so what if we had negative 2 raised to the negative 4 over negative 2 to the 0? Okay, so again, we have the same base, the same base, so we're going to keep it, negative 2. And then we're going to subtract the exponents, so this is going to be negative 4 minus 0, right? So then we have negative 2 right here as our base, and then negative 4 minus 0 is just negative 4. Okay, so if you remember the last little rule I just introduced, right, we have a negative base raised to an exponent. Okay, so is this exponent even or odd? Well, negative 4 is even, right? So we know already our answer is going to be positive. If it doesn't come out positive, we know we did something wrong, okay? So that's always just a good little check to keep in the back of your mind. Okay, now, how do we deal with negative exponents? Well, again, we just put this over 1, right, and then we flip it. So we're going to have 1 on top, and then we're going to have negative 2, right, because that's our base, negative 2 raised to the positive fourth power, right, because this turns into a positive. Now we can reduce this, right, so we just have 1 over negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. Right, so negative 2 times negative 2, that's a positive 4. And then negative 2 times negative 2, that's also a positive 4, right? So then we bring this down. So we got 4 times 4, positive 4 times positive 4, which is equal to positive 16. So we can just rewrite this as 1 over 16. And there's your answer. And again, our answer is positive, right? Which is what we expected. All right, so let's do one last example, and you're going to be even more of a genius than you already are. All right, so what if I gave you 0 to the negative 2 over 0 to the 4th? Okay, so again, same thing, right? We have the same base, right? The same base, so we're going to keep it, and then we're going to subtract our exponents, so negative 2 minus positive 4, right? So we have 0 here. And then simplifying the exponent, negative 2 minus 4 is equal to negative 6. Now, we have a negative exponent. What do we do? Well, we just put this whole thing over 1, and then we flip it. Right? So let's flip this. So now we have 1 over 0 to the positive 6. Now, what is 0 to the 6th? Well, 0 times 0 times 0 times 0 times 0 times 0. I think that was 6 times. Is it just equal to 0, right? And then we just have 1 on the top. So we have 1 divided by 0, which is equal to z No, undefined. 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 I thought I was going to say 0. So did I. But it is undefined, okay? So remember, you can't divide by 0. You can never have the 0 in the denominator. That's a big no-no in math, right? So it's undefined. Okay guys, so that's how you divide numbers that have the same base but different exponents. So I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. 
And if you still got questions, leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to try and help you guys out. There's a playlist attached at the end of the video with a bunch of other exponent topics and other algebra topics. So if there's anything you need to check out, definitely check it out and I'll see you there.